Bri in South Africa is something akin to religion. It's not only about what you bri, but it's about how you bri, when you bri, where you bri, with whom you bri. It gathers people around a fire to watch, smell and share a meal. Can we get those delicious South African flavors in Barcelona? <laughs> the first episode of the second season. We're going to have South Africa today. Uh, it's the first South African actually, but the first location was in Sanchez Masia. But we're trying the, the second location. Um, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> what is interesting about this one is that you can't really achieve to eat the restaurant itself. But, uh, but the, the meal, the whole chicken is going to do, it's going to be a cheap meal. Hey, hey. <laughs> so they specialize in chicken, and we're going to go for the whole chicken today. And they do a South African style chicken and a Caribbean style chicken. And then, of course, you have the sides, um, where you have some rice, you have an African bean salad, uh, you have some corn, green salad. So either you can do mild, hot or extra hot. And if you don't want anything at all and want an extra twist, you can also do it with lemon and herb. We work for the hot one because we like the spice. Yeah. Ah, okay. We cook a lot of chicken and they are specialists. Yeah. Cool, cool. Guys, cheers. 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 <laughs> Perfect. I've changed, I've changed, I've changed. First of all, it looks super colorful and exciting and mm, smelling really good as well. I'm going to take a bite from the leg because that is the most tender part. A little bit of the rice. Some of the African beets. Okay, lastly, we need the sauce. There's the cheese here. Let's see the verdict. Super nice, super tender. I am loving the sauce. Um, it's an extra hot sauce, but it even has some tanginess into it. Maybe they added some lime or some acidity. I love it. I love it. It's different. Like for me, I haven't tried this kind of flavor. I'm gonna do a little bit Bengali style, like Bavidia. <laughs> See, that's a, that's a proper Bengali guy. I'm gonna eat it with this. Hand. I'm done. Just wash it off with this. Beautiful South African tequila cider, a little bit like a la Desperados, but for me it's better. What do you think, Tess? No? Very nice. Better. Yeah. <laughs> I've changed, I've changed, I've changed, I've changed. Ah, yeah. Oh, really? It gave quite a nice freshness to the whole meal because everything was kind of warm. So a little cool, coolness into the meal was really good. I also liked the fact that there was something, there's a hint of sweetness. Mm. I'm a happy man. <laughs> Very happy. Screw it, the sound sucks. I asked Chef Khalid how they make the sauce, but the owner has made sure that it stays a family secret. The chef simply does not know, as it is a herb and spice mix which is imported from South Africa, and they simply dilute it in liquid cream. The dish is a true family recipe made with love. The sound is getting a bit better now. Check it out. How are you preparing the chicken? So making green also? Yeah. In order also. Make the boiled also. Ah, so you boil and grill it? Yeah. So just do... Four littles... Get it with tender, right? Yeah, because... Thank you, huh? Thank you very much, huh? Thank, Thank you for you. a great chicken. Uh -huh. For the bien? <laughs> yes, yeah. Could you write here, you too? Uh, we well, just finished the uh, braai, the chicken barbecue here in the South African. And it was my first South African experience. The chicken, super, super succulent. Uh, the sauce, just complementing it really nicely. And then you have the sides, I mean the rice. It was okay, there was not something very unique about it, but also had the, the African bean salad, it gave that nice freshness. Come here with two, three friends, order the big chicken, take some sides, and have a great time. Go come to this location or the next one, up to you guys.
Anyways, guys, see you next time. Bye. -bye.